I was as a as a defender coming out of the back. I don't think he needs to exaggerate in possession. I don't think he needs to prove to anyone that he can play. He's already an established national player. Once Fortin Civic Center really trying to play some good football, but they're being caught out at the back with the running of Neil Benjamin. Defensive move there by Wesley Jones again in the way of that one. Uh, no pressure on the ball whatsoever. And Cyrus kicks it into touch. I'm thinking that Point Forte Civic Center is giving W Connection a little too much room to build out of the back. I, I, I don't know if you've noticed, but, but Point Forte Civic Center has totally taken over the game since W Connection scored. I think it's something that W Connection have grown accustomed to absorbing pressure. Trying to get one inside. That's a pretty good cool. cross. Jones and held on to there by Marvin Phillip in goal. A, 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 a comedy of errors. A comedy of errors in the heart of the Civic Center defense resulting in a shot from New Benjamin where from 14 Civic Center could have gone two down. Basic defending, attack the ball and and, 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 and head it out. Where's the John not reading that one at all? I don't know if he was trying to bring it down on his leg or his chest, but I don't think he didn't read it. I just thought that he made he made he made the wrong decision. That's the final ball I'm talking about. Some good areas, and this could be dangerous. Well read by Marvin Phillip. Very well read as Neil Benjamin was on to it. He's going back to the left, Pacheco. Andre Pacheco. Andre Pacheco. His first touch is letting him down all ends up and deciding to go in high. This one very familiar to the first matchup as this one is inside for Brito. Brito taking a shot over bar. And that's that's exactly that's exactly the kind of football that's gonna that's gonna cost Point Fountain Civic Center. Point Fountain Civic Center will not be able to maintain any level of intensity with such a thin inexperienced squad the crowd cannot win games for you definitely the crowd is not able to put the ball in the back of the net coming in here from jamal williams misdirected for another goal kick here poor passes it's back with joseph that's a really good outlet pass you're taking a shot here. Not I don't I don't I don't I, I don't think that shot was on. I expect more from Sylvester Tizio. That shot wasn't on. Trying to get in front of that one being but being called for an infringement. Looked a bit on the it looked a bit on the way too easy. Way, way, way too easy. Space you were speaking of. No one is stepping. Just no one is stepping. It's way really too easy now for the W Connection team. Not able, not able, not able to bother the W Connection keeper for this entire first half. And that's the end of the first half. Yes, at the end of the first half, W Connection on top one goal to nil. What's your, what are your thoughts, Coach Iris? Well, definitely W Connection, the better team first 45 minutes uh they had an early lead i thought the game ended up um even after that uh but point four ten civic center definitely needs to add some punch in that final third if they have to get themselves back into this one after that they came up against st Anne's rangers team who had allowed about 13 goals in their first two matches and was able just to score one as we see a second yellow card here. As we see another substitution about to be made by W Connection. Poor pass intercepted there by Gerald Williams who's been quite nicely afield. 
Opportunity here for Brito pulling out his jersey and it's well saved there by Marvin Phillip. That was goal bound there by Brito. But a very good save by the outstretched Marvin Phillip. Remember in the first half when the goal was scored, he was outstretched as well, using his entire body, but wasn't able to stop one from Jones. And the W connection will shortly be making their last substitution as Lozano as this one is here for Matthew Bartholomew taking a shot. Oh, wide right. I think Matthew had the right idea idea there's two was being covered. All ends up by by Williams and Cyrus, but not being able to get a direction on it. Lozano getting his feet on it immediately. Making a nice turn there is Jones. Ball, Asia Jones. This is going to be shot goal. Very well put together there by W Connection. Goal number two. Asia and Jones, and you're seeing Jones jumping on the back of Asia because it was magnificently put together there. And W Connection. Two goals to nil. We'd be hearing the complaints from them. As Bartholomew is here. Trying to get one inside. Nice. This is an opportunity. This is an opportunity. Oh, cleared away there by Zhao. Oh, coming back inside. Looking for the head. Yes, Bass heading it down. Alexis. Alexis. Can he take a shot? He's turning. He's trying to get a shot on. Actually trying to set up Tuse there. Could have gotten a shot. Two men in his way. So an open Tuse. But not a very good pass. Marcus Joseph with his still over. Taking a shot. And it's just wide of the goal for a goal kick. During the daytime. So that may have hamper of more than a few supporters are making the trek here up to Kufa as this one sent inside for Elliot this could be offside and the fact they have many prolific players up front Marcus Joseph Sylvester Teasdale Matthew Bartholomew as that is the final whistle in this one the round of the applause coming here from the supporters from Central the W Connection supporters as a point forward and Civic FC supporters are leaving unhappy once more. At the end of 90, W Connection 2, both scored by Driven Jones, who's in, in fine, fine goal scoring form.